In the 2021 season, 36-year-old LeBron remains as the bona fide best basketball player on earth. Here's how he's defying father time to lead the Lakers to the best record in the NBA so far, whether or not he can pass MJ to achieve GOAT status, and how LeBron James is still doing this. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to D-Flow Hoops. If you're new here and a basketball fan, you came to the right place. Please subscribe and hit notifications so you're notified every time I post content. Let's get into this. Displaying that he's ageless, LeBron James is reminding everyone that he's a physical specimen and truly one of the greatest athletes of all time. In his 18th season, LeBron's playing a career low by far 31.8 minutes per game, but is still leading the 11-3 Lakers in scoring and assists. What's helped the Kings stay at such a high level despite his explosiveness not being quite like it was in his early days in Cleveland is how he's developed certain elements of his offensive game as his career's progressed. For example, 10 years ago, after LeBron lost in the finals to the Dallas Mavericks, he spent a good chunk of the 2011 offseason working out with Hakeem Olajuwon, and the clip you're watching right now has over 5.7 million views after the video of Hakeem and Braun was released two years after these training sessions happened. From 2011-12 onward, we saw LBJ's postgame become the go-to weapon in his bag, and it was a big reason for the Heat going on to win back-to-back -back championships and making three straight NBA Finals appearances. But after the Splash Brother-led Warriors won the 2015 title and went on to make five straight finals appearances, winning three of them, the deep range shot was beginning its reign over the NBA, with every team in the league valuing shooting from beyond the arc. But again, LeBron's adjusted his playing style and vamped his dominance in one specific area. This year, that area is LeBron's deep range shot, as he's attempting a career high in both three-point attempts per game and three-point percentage. In addition to his game, LeBron's also perfected his mindset for years, which he let the public know about with his Train Your Mind playbook with the Calm app. I recommend you go check that out, but as narrated by him in that app, during a timeout in Game 5 of the 2015 Eastern Conference Semis against the Bulls, he pictured himself catching and shooting the ball, and then hit this iconic game winner. LeBron's a basketball genius with his ability to break down defenses as well as his opponent's confidence, but it's how James brings a beginner's mind to each and every game that really keeps him consistent. Beginner's mind is a common term in meditation, aka Zen Buddhism, and it refers to having an attitude of openness, eagerness, and lack of preconceptions. Even when LeBron's gone through the process for nearly two decades, due to his mindset, every time the King steps on the floor, he's playing like it's his first game out there and he's a rookie. Which is incredible because as we know, this man's a four-time NBA champion and has established a reputation in some people's eyes as the greatest player of all time. More on that coming up, but if you look at Bleacher Report's predictions back in 2015 of the top 20 players in 2020, LeBron James wasn't on their list, but Jaleel Okafor and Dragon Bender were. To be fair, who could have predicted that LeBron's run of greatness would continue for this long, and he'd maintain his status as the best basketball player on earth. And he's not only the best on the court, but he's the best off of it because there's not a better athlete, let alone NBA player, who takes better care of their body to recuperate during their off days than LeBron James. The man spends a million and a half dollars on body care to keep up with growing competition, which is something UFC sensation Conor McGregor has drawn inspiration from and started spending money on himself. LeBron uses cryotherapy, hyperbaric chambers, Normatec leg boots, and much more. He has personal chefs, trainers, plus he's on a strict diet. The man's invested in his body completely so he can still dominate at age 36. And whether you love or hate LeBron James, you have to respect his commitment off the court. The man's faced so much pressure and hype since he was dubbed the chosen one and put on the cover of Sports Illustrated back when he was in high school. Most would fold or at least not fully reach their potential when put in LeBron's situation, but the King has always lived up to the moment. Before you see how the 2021 Lakers are contributing to his success, and then the inevitable MJ comparisons, quickly let's flash back to the 2012 NBA Finals, when the Miami Heat beat the Oklahoma City Thunder in five games, ending James Harden's tenure in a Thunder uniform. Eight and a half years later, after LeBron hit this Steph Curry-esque dagger, Harden's tenure in a Rockets uniform ended. Coincidence? I think not. 
You've probably seen the clip a hundred plus times by now, but this disrespectful yet hilarious turnaround before it falls shot describes the key to LeBron's success really in one play. He's fully in the moment, enjoying the time he has left in the league. On January 16th, James said that he still feels fully capable of doing what needs to be done physically at age 36, but did say, quote, I don't think I can go to 46, and I also don't think my wife would like that. The Lakers' free agent pickups in Dennis Schroeder and Montrez Harrell have made the reigning champs depth elite in 2021. Harrell's averaged 14 points and 8 rebounds, but it's specifically Schroeder who's making it so much easier on LeBron. The speedy German is the tough, shot-creating point guard the Laker organization was desperate to find throughout the entirety of the 2010s. Schroeder's playing the same amount of minutes as LeBron, and even though he's not dropping 19 per game like last season, his passing and ball handling next to one of the greatest playmakers in history in LBJ are extremely valued qualities for the Lakers. In their finals run last year, it was Rajon Rondo who played the role as the second guard creator, but Schroeder's quarterbacking brings LA's offense to a whole new level. Last year in 2019-20, the Lakers were 12th in offensive efficiency. So far in 2021, they have the 5th best offensive efficiency in basketball, and it's not like they've dropped off defensively as they're the most efficient team in basketball on that end. They were 3rd in 2019-20. So even with the scary hour big 3 of the Brooklyn Nets looking like a legit title contender, I know they've only played one game, but they should be a force to be reckoned with. Having said that, the all-time great duo of LeBron and AD surrounded by some impressive new role players make the Lakers the current 2021 championship favorite. If LA is able to capture one or potentially two more championships with this contending core, you wonder where that puts LeBron in the debate with Michael Jordan for the greatest player of all time. LBJ is the only player in NBA history to be top 10 in both points and assists, and will likely pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to become the all-time greatest scorer by the time his career is over. But MJ does have that perfect 6-0 finals record, and his six finals MVPs, plus the fact that he made the NBA as popular as it is to this day, that's a decent case for Jordan's GOAT status to never be messed with, especially considering when LeBron has a 4-6 and six finals record. However, he did make the finals in eight straight seasons from 2011 to 2018, something MJ didn't come close to. And when you compare everything from the advanced stats, the numbers in the playoffs, and the accolades, everything is extremely close right now. Some people believe that James has already surpassed Jordan, but whether you're a Jordan guy or you just don't think LeBron's legacy is legit enough for whatever reason, you still can't deny the fact that if James wins another championship or another few championships, then there's a legit argument for him being the greatest to ever lace him up. This storyline should be amazing to watch play out over the next few years. In terms of this year though, as simple as it sounds, LeBron continues to produce at this high of a level because he's having fun. He's trusting his talent and letting it fly, with his clearly more polished and confident three-point stroke. He's still attacking the basket with reckless abandon, but he's adapted his playing style to the modern NBA, and he's the best player in the league because of that. I respond to every comment, so let me know your thoughts on LeBron James. Do you think he's the GOAT, or what do you think is keeping him this good 18 years in? You're the best for sticking around this far. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next time.